don't forget to check out my Instagram for daily pictures. And don't forget to check out my merch. All profits help pay for animal food. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I will be building a new quail pen for my five Caternix quail. <laughs> Today I got all of these 2x6s to build the new quail pen and so I got them all at discount because they were a tad moldy and I got a bunch of 4x4s also for the legs of the quail pen and so I got all of these 2x6s for the framing of the quail pen so I got these 4x4s from a salvage yard for, I got the three top ones for five bucks for all of them. All of these for five bucks, these three here. And then I got this one with leftover from probably the rabbit pen or the chicken coop. And then I went to a lumber yard and got all of these two by sixes. I got 10 of them and I got them for a dollar a piece because they're moldy. And so I just have to cut that part off because it's really just the ends. So let's get to building this thing. So we are now on day two because it started pouring rain yesterday, but it's nice and clear today. So after we got all the two by sixes to cut to size, I realized that they were going to be too wide for the quail pen that I wanted to build. I originally went out looking for two by fours, but I got a great deal on the two by sixes. So I just have to rip them all down on the table saw. Quick little update here, after we ripped all those 2x6s in half, we built the part of the frame and we just have to put the rest of the side on, so we need to build that side and put it on, it's done with the frame. So we actually had to move locations from the yard in the backyard farm because we realized that it wouldn't quite fit through the gate. And once we put the plywood walls on and finish the frame, it was going to be really heavy. So before we finish the frame, we put it over the fence, six foot fence, and then we finished up the frame. So we finished building the frame after we carried it over the fence into the backyard farm. And then we put the floors on. We used half inch plywood for the floors. So it's pretty darn sturdy. We screwed it all together. And so now that we have the two floors done, we just need to get ready to put the three quarter inch walls on. And there's the ducks. Noises. Well, now that we have added the walls in, we put these little dividers in so that they can have, so that's where they'll be living, and then this is where we'll have sand to dust bathe. I haven't put them in on the top yet. So right now, we are cutting these strips to put in so there's a little gap for the door to fit in, and we just need to put them all around. So now that we've put them all around, it's time to cut the doors, see there's a little gap there for the doors to sit in. And so I need to cut the two big doors and the two small doors. And so I have all of these latches and hinges for connecting the doors to the frame. So here we are, we've cut the two small doors for the quail pen. And so these are just gonna go up how they are with the hinges. And 
there's the ducks underneath the quail pen. Like it's been shady down there. So we just need to cut the big doors and put hardware cloth on them and then attach them to the pen. So we have cut the big doors and we cut the middles out so we can put hardware cloth on there. So all we need to do is attach the hardware cloth. So we're getting close to be f being finished with the quail pen. We've got the two big doors. We've got the hardware cloth put on them. Oops. And then we have the two little doors. And so I just got all of our hardware in there. So all the latches and hinges. And then all we have to do is put our roof on it and put hardware cloth on this side here. So guys, I got the hinges and the doors onto the pen. And so this top big one flips up so you can get in there and work. And then the bottom one flips down. And so we still have to do that wall. So guys, we got the three foot by five foot hardware cloth. So now I can just take this side, put it on there, and just roll it down, staple it on, and then this side will be done. All the doors will be done, and all we have to do is put it on the roof. So we got the um, hardware cloth stapled to the side of the pen. And so now I just need to cut some plywood trim out of this three quarter plywood, like I did here. And just kinda put it down here on these posts and up here, just to make it stronger and look a little bit better. So guys, we are getting ready to cut the trim for this side here, like this. And then we have to put the roof on. So we have put all of the trim on this side here, so it looks really good. And we literally just have the roof setting on here because it kind of started to rain. So that's our next step is to connect the roof to the pen. And so we are very close to being done. So we have put the roof on and as you can see, it is just flat. So now we need to get ready to put the latches on all of the doors. So we have got our first latch on and we are marked this one and so we are going to finish up putting on these latches. So we have officially attached all of the latches and barrel locks to the quail pen. And so now we are just getting everything out so we can start filling it with quail. So we have started to put all of the sand into the pen and we just need to dump it all in and smooth it all out. So we have added all of the sand and the wood shavings and so we have the wood shavings and we put them in this part and we have the sand over here and so it is time to add in the quail and hopefully they will love their new pen. So it is time to add the quail into their new pen and they don't know what to do with all this new space, but they are happy and I need to go get the one last quail. So here is the one last quail. Um, he hasn't been reintroduced to the rest of the quail yet since he injured himself, but I think because they've all been moved, they should get along pretty well. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Um, click on the videos on the screen for some of my other videos, and click in the middle to subscribe. And don't forget to check out my Instagram and my merch all in the description below.